Okay, let's talk about adding some fonts to our cheesy website. So the first thing we're going to do is take a peek at Brightspace. And on Brightspace, as you can see, I have in week 12 something called Font Squirrel. I have another link for some tutorials. I don't think you'll need them. It's just in case you want some further learning. On our instructions. It's telling us that the heading fonts are chunk 5. Download the OTF, that stands for open type font, at uh, https fontsquirrel.com forward slash fonts forward slash chunk 5. And it says that that is for this and this, but I think it's also for that. So let's take a quick peek at what those are. They are that is an H1. This is an H3, and this must be an H2. And there it is, H2. So now we know what we need H1, H2, and H3 to be a uh, chunk 5. So let's go to Font Squirrel. Uh, font squirrel.com forward slash fonts forward slash chunk five. Did I type it all right? We'll see soon. Yep, there it is. Okay, so I've downloaded chunk five and I'm going to take a peek in my finder to see what it looks like. Let's extract this. Can't use a zipped file. And here, uh, there's the open font license. Here is a version called Chunk 5 Print, and I think ours is Chunk 5 Regular. So I want to move this into my fonts folder. Open up my Week 12 lab. And here is I Love Cheese. There's my font folder. I just need to get that font in there from my downloads. And there we go. So having done that, I should be able to check on my Visual Studio code, and there it is. So this uh, file hierarchy will reflect exactly the file hierarchy that I've chosen from the open folder menu. All right, so now I've got a good start. Let's go to Styles, and above the body, we will add our We'll add our, so it's going to be at font face. And you can see here it put in both of these for me. So the font family is chunk5. And the URL is, now this is where a lot of you have gotten caught up before, so let's look carefully. I'm in my font, I want to put, I put this in my font folder. But right now, I'm in my styles.css file. So I have to get out of the CSS folder. The font folder is right below the CSS folder. It's right here. They are both in the assets folder, but I don't need to type assets. I just need to get out of the CSS folder because then I can go right into fonts. So to get out, I'll type dot dot forward slash. And then I've got a path clear. So there it is. And there that is. And that's the beginning. So the next thing I need to do is my multiple selectors, H1, H2, H3. And now, once again, I'm going to type my font family. And it is going to be chunk 5. And because chunk 5 is a serifed font, it has little uh, bars on the bottoms and tops of each letter. Not each letter, but many letters. I'll make that my default. So let's do a save and see how it looks. There it is. 
All right, so let's look at this other font we need to add. Let's go to here and it's going to be this navigation list. And what it says here is there's the background color, a hover. Link tags are luckiest guy from Google Fonts. All right, that's easy enough. So let's go to fonts.google.com and let's search for luckiest guy. There it is. So I can choose to do it as an import um, and that way I would uh, put it in my style tags. Or I could do it as a link and we didn't do a link last time so let's do it this time. We want the link that has style sheet at the end. So it'll begin with the href of fonts.googleapis and it will end with style sheet. So let's copy this. Command C, Control C for some of you. And let's go to the index. I'll show you where we put that. We'll put it above our other links. Oh wait, let's be sure we're in the right lab. I love cheese. I thought that looked a little interesting. There we go. So we'll put it here on line seven. And there it is. That's my link to the uh, font on google.com. And there's the web address for it. I'm going to go over to my styles, but first let's see what's the tag name. So uh, it's going to be those. Let me go to the index. Let's go to the live server. I think I already had this open, but what are these? Uh, these are li tags, which are inside a ul. Now I don't want to, um, they're a tags actually is what they are. Yep, they're a tags that are inside li's, that are inside ul's, that are inside a nav whose ID is subnav. Now the reason this is all important, right, is because I'm going to need some specificity because I don't want these links to be that same font. So I'll just remember that they are in an ID named, it's a tags inside the subnav ID. So I'll go back to my styles. And I will add a pound subnav space a. Why did I use a space here where I used a comma here? The reason is because this is a child and this is that child's parent. So it's a descendant selector, whereas this is multiple selectors. Does that make sense? So here I'm going to type font family. Oops. Font family and then quote mark. Luckiest guy. Now, if I remember correctly, let me just double check this. It says, oh, I should be able to just copy this. And look what I'm noticing. I came here to get this word cursive as my secondary default font. But I'm noticing here that they use single quotes. And you must always use the specified rules. So let's go back and make this a single quote and then we'll write cursive. Um, this should have been a comma. There we go. I'm going to do a save and a refresh just to see what it's looking like. Look at it. There it is. All right, we've done our fonts. Let's see if we can uh, take care of the drop-down menu next.